breaking news, Mike Babcock is done. He has resigned as the head coach of the Columbus Blue Jackets following the photo controversy. Now, we made our initial video back during the first wave when everything was reported. You had Spittin' Chicklets, Paul Bissonette calling out Babcock on the podcast because some players were texting him, talking to him about what was going on. The Blue Jackets then, admittedly, did a pretty good job in covering it up. We talked about the statements made. You had Babcock himself, you had Boone Jenner, the captain. You had Johnny Gaudreau also say something too. Not to mention Nazem Kadri, who was interviewed and had his own statement where they all said similar things that, yeah, Babcock was asking for photos of family. And this was a team building, team getting to know each other type of exercise, and he Babcock, that is, was asking other players and other staff members for pictures of their folks. It was not as malicious as the Spit and Chicklets guys made it out to be. And we were like, okay, that's fine. Like, the way it's portrayed when the Blue Jackets people talked about it, it seemed fine. But then, you had yourselves even more of an investigation done, and this is another article published by Elliot Friedman on Sportsnet. This is kind of the kicker here. This is from a few days ago, September 14th, so after we made our video, let's take a look at another paragraph here when it comes to this situation. Marty Walsh and the NHLPA's assistant exclusive director Ron Hainsey or executive director, excuse me. Yeah, Ron Hainsey. I didn't realize that he was in that job. Good for him. They met with the Blue Jackets players in Columbus, a meeting described by several sources as intense. On Tuesday, when the story broke from Biz Nasty and the Spit and Checklist podcast, both the NHL and the NHLPA initially were satisfied with the explanations from Boone Jenner and Johnny Gaudreau. However, it appears things changed for both later that night when information was received that some of the younger Blue Jackets were uncomfortable with what had occurred. That appears to be the major focus of the investigation. Now, when this paragraph was initially dropped, we had a few people saying, okay, well, this kind of makes sense. Like, older players, they're more likely to have just pictures of family on their phones. Whereas younger guys, I mean, if you're a male under the age of 23. You probably know what a lot of boys in this range have on their smartphones, and you could understand that if a younger player doesn't really have his own family, he doesn't have kids, he doesn't have, you know, he doesn't have pictures of his parents, like, spammed in his photo albums, you know what he probably has instead. And there's sort of a layer there that disconnects the old and the young in terms of Babcock asking for pictures from people's phones. And then you had yourselves even more controversy when it was revealed here in this new article published by Elliot Friedman. Where exactly is it? So it says here at the beginning, Babcock resigned as head coach after Spit and Chicklets podcaster Paul Bissonette accused him of improperly viewing players' smartphones. Now, it does say here that Johnny Gaudreau, Captain Boone Jenner, they both indicated there was nothing nefarious with what Babcock did. However, the organization's reversed course when some Blue Jackets younger players said they weren't comfortable with what happened. Upon reflection, these are the statements made, this is Babcock, it has become clear that continuing as head coach of the Blue Jackets was going to be too much of a distraction, Babcock said in a statement released by the team. While I'm disappointed to have not had the opportunity to continue to work we've begun, I know it's in the best of interest of the organization for me to step away at this time. I wish everybody in the organization well in the upcoming season. This is the kicker, though. According to multiple sources, one of the most serious concerns was a meeting that occurred away from team facilities that included several minutes of Babcock looking through a phone. That was beyond the scope of what was initially understood to have occurred. This is exactly what Biz Nasty was talking about. How maybe there was no airplay involved, maybe there was, maybe there wasn't, but Mike Babcock grabbing somebody's phone and spending several minutes going through it is a lot different than him saying, okay, show me pictures of your family. Like, we talked about this in the last video, but asking your new players, if you're a head coach, if you're asking your players, show me pictures of your family, that's weird, right? Is it normal? No. Is it weird? Yeah. But is it bad? Not necessarily. Not necessarily is it bad to ask for pictures of the ones that you love the most, but it's a little bit 
fishy. You know, it's weird, not the worst thing in the world. This, however, spending several minutes grabbing somebody's phone and looking through it, yeah, that's a breach of privacy. You can't do that. Like, just going through somebody's photos by that, like, by itself, that is already a big no-no. I think if you grab your coworker's smartphone and start going through it in the photo tab, like, they're going to be so uncomfortable, especially if you just kind of demand them to do that. And that's not even thinking about Mike Babcock being the coach, you know? He is a step above the players. He has a sense of authority here, looking through their smartphones and thinking about what it is that they have on there. That is messed up. And if that's the case, which is reported here that he had included several minutes of looking through a phone, then yeah, he deserves to be fired. Or not fired, but he deserves to have resigned. He deserves to not have his job. You cannot do that. Marty Walsh and Assistant Executive Director Ron Hainsey flew to Columbus, and they met with the Blue Jackets players Thursday. They had the intense situation, as Friedman talked about earlier. There also was contact made with some of Babcock's former players. This was a difficult decision on everyone's part, but one we felt necessary to ensure our focus remains on the players and the team's upcoming season, said Jarmo Kekalainen. On behalf of the entire Blue Jackets organization, we want to thank Mike for his hard work and the professionalism he has shown in working together on a plan to step down. Look at that. They're like, yeah, we're not thanking him for coming over here and doing what it is that he did. We're thanking him for his hard work and the professionalism he has showed in terms of us looking on how to fire the guy. Like, that's kind of nuts. But now, it's the middle of September, the Blue Jackets don't have a head coach, they've made all these trades and acquisitions with the idea in mind that Babcock was going to be their head coach, like a lot of the players they got fit the Babcock style pretty well. So now it's going to be interesting to see where Columbus goes with their coaching situation. This is a tweet made by Frank Saravelli. Sources say that Babcock and the Blue Jackets are indeed parting ways. The investigation by the NHLPA left no path for Babcock to continue as coach. Much of the last 24 to 48 hours was spent negotiating his exit. There's a strong message sent here. Treat all players with respect as you would in any proper workplace. And grabbing somebody's phone and going through it that is not treating anybody with respect. Sorry, you can respect somebody as much as you want, but that does not mean you feel even remotely comfortable with grabbing their phone and going through it. Maybe there's some sort of a disconnect here. Like, you could debate. Oh, Lego, you already talked about the old players and the young players. The old guys have pictures of family on their phones. The young guys don't. There is a disconnect there. So why would it not be reasonable to think about a disconnect between Babcock and the players? And maybe there is. Like, maybe Mike Babcock does not understand just kind of how people view technology nowadays and smartphones and just being able to grab somebody's phone and going through it. Maybe Babcock does not get the level of privacy that people feel intruded by when you do that. Like, maybe he doesn't really think that smartphones are that personal. Maybe he thinks that smartphones are just the brand new device that dropped 20 years ago. I don't know. I mean, it would be reasonable for him to think that because he is pretty old, but like, still, that doesn't negate the impact that you make when you go through somebody's smartphone for several minutes unhinged. Like, that is not okay. So, for Mike Babcock to have resigned in this situation, technically he's not fired. Like, I mean, we know he was fired, pretty much, but like... The official wording is that he resigned, and for the Blue Jackets to literally admit themselves that they were working on a strategy with Babcock to step down over the past two days, it means that he was fired. There was no way he was going to stick around after this information was revealed. That's the kicker. You cannot excuse that. So, Columbus, you don't have a coach anymore. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I hope you enjoyed this British Irish Rolls 99. And, bye.